it, it's working, right? I've got it. All right. We have right there. We've got R.J. Ron Joseph with us on the Big Time Audio Broadcast. Hello, R.J. Hello. It's about time. We were having some, <laughs> some, some we, we were having some trouble. He told you. I, I hope you're able to hear us all trouble right. Trouble is not the word. I need a shame. I've been waiting. Well, we, we are. Anyway. We, yeah, yeah. So it's good to have you with us. I have a lot of people around the country, my own listeners that are listening to you. No. You have people that are listening and they've been calling me, where are you coming up? When are you coming up? Anyway, I want to say a real quick shout out to a lot of friends around the country that are listening to us. Uh, Marie Butler in Mobile, Alabama. Thank you, Marie. And I want to thank also uh, Jerry Smith. Carbo. And I want to thank a lot of other people. Jerry Foreman in Atlantic City and his whole family are listening. I want to say hello to Tom Brady and all the gang in Boston. All right. Thank Tom Brady's you listening. Calling. Wow. No, and shouldn't he be practicing right now? Also, all, all the gang is everything's fine. Uh, all the gang at the French Market on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles are listening on the big speaker. Thank you for listening. So they've got us pumped in on Santa Monica Boulevard. We apologize. Yes. No, that's good. And, and San Francisco, we have our friends on the Castro District listening to us in the Marina District. I want to say hello to them. Also, uh, a very, very good friend of ours from the American Bandstand. She's a doll. She's a sweetheart, and she's in Marina Del Rey. I'm talking about my girl, Bunny Gibson in Los Angeles. Thank you for listening, Bunny. There are so many. Are you there? No, there you go. We're are right you? here. What no, about Carol Beth? You, you have the floor. You have the floor. Carol okay. Beth listening? Well, first of all, I, 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 no, listen, I have so many names that have called me because I couldn't get in on your line. Finally, your line is working clear. Am I clear? No you, so, you sound beautiful. I sound beautiful. I sound yes. like you. Right. All right, listen, let me tell you something. We talked about a lot last year, and I want to just pick up from where we left off. They're finally going to retry the boys that caused all the trouble at Penn State. They had dismissed it all, now they're going to retrial them. A retrial of those boys, which I think should have been in jail for what they did to that poor fellow who lost his life, Mr. Piazza. Remember we talked about it last year on the air? Oh yes, now what, what has changed though in the past year? What new information has come out on that? Well, they're going to retry them. They found that the, the parents have spent a fortune on two lawyers and they had dropped all the charges, now they're going to recharge them, and they're going to go to trial this month. Now, what are they being charged with? Impeached. Let's ask that question. A guy by the name of uh, Rosenstein should be impeached for holding back information. Where did you ever run a country when a guy in his position can hold back the truth about things that are going on? Sure well, well, we're not. Well, we're not doing politics tonight, RJ. We're doing. We're doing broadcasting. Your thoughts on broadcasting? What has happened to okay, the business? Radio, broadcast. television. Broadcasting is a mess in Philadelphia and other cities around the country. It's the worst it's ever been. Yeah, just listen Radio to the show. And TV. Yeah, I think as, as 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 bad as this uh, sh show is we're, that I'm doing right now, <laughs> I think it's still better than anything that's on terrestrial radio right now. Yeah, we're coming close, though. Well, there's nothing good on Philadelphia radio right now, so you're not missing much. I did think, though, this would be... Five years to get body bags back from Korea, but I'm not going to talk about politics. Well, he... What is the president doing? Well, he, he, got, he, he got the remains back. Yeah, how many years have they been dead? The poor men Since the early 1950s, and, That's right. uh, and they're finally coming home. So I thought this would be a good opportunity, now that we have everyone listening, to the show about broadcasting, to have you maybe tell a little bit about the new campaign that uh, you'd like to undertake about saving a certain building in Ballakinwood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been trying to save Channel Tech from getting demolished. Only the real millionaires in Philadelphia, like Brian... Roberts and Comcast most likely will sell the ground and some high skyscraper will go there. That building is an icon building. I started my career there and at their old building, 1622 Chestnut Street. I would like to make it a real archive of radio and television. Who's going to pay for it, though? Who's going to pay for it? Mm -hmm. Nothing. You leave the building as it is. You can't make a buck out of it, though. You only can charge admission. And that's why they want to make an eight-story apartment house and office building there. They'll make a fortune with that corner. What is that the? Corner is worth. Well, then what? See, I guess I guess what I mean. I, 
Roscoe, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but I guess what Jeff, and correct me if I'm wrong, I guess what, what Roscoe's asking is how how do you present to the Roberts family yeah. uh, to say, I know you could have gotten $28 million for that building, but here's why you should you know, make it a museum instead. It's a noble effort, but it's got to be worth their while as well. Of course it has to be worth their while. It's $900 million. That corner is worth a fortune. And to put a skyscraper there would be astronomical. What did they do with the Comcast 2 building? He put it right next to the Comcast 1 building. And they're going to rent stories. They're moving Channel 10 out of City Line, moving it downtown. And that's where they're going to use that building. And I'm hoping that a television, beautiful, real, real archive building can be put there. And either the uh, wonderful broadcasters of Philadelphia can underwrite it, or Brian Roberts can use it as a tax write-off. God forbid he doesn't make enough money. He makes billions of dollars. Okay, so what you're saying you're saying is that I mean, because if, if it's if, if you're trying to play a numbers game, I'm guessing that's a war, that's a battle you can't really win. So you're going to be appealing to the, Mr. Roberts' sense of um, I guess of decency and history here. Yeah, but look, he makes so much money. He needs a write off on some of the stuff. He's making so much money. He owns the 51 percent of NBC. He owns Comcast. Uh, you name it, he has it. He's buying other things up. He even made another offer for another conglomerate. Uh, he has a, a conflict of interest, no matter where he continues to buy. I, I, I believe he owns 100. I believe he. Oh, sorry about the, 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 the levels are wrong here. I, I believe he owns 100 percent of NBC, no longer 51, right? I thought it was fifty-one uh, percent. I thought he I took. The, I think he, he has the rest of it now, of NBC Universal. Well, he had the controlling interest last time I spoke to him, and that was it. They are wonderful people. They've been very kind to me, and uh, I'm not putting them down. They know how to make a buck, and he does know how to make a buck. I mean, his father started with a you know cigar manufacturing, and he's gone to a billionaire four times. So uh, you know, God bless them. But they could do something. That's a, that's a real, it could be really saved by making a, a historically certified building. I did it with the John Facenda sign out on City Line Avenue. They wouldn't put it back up. The people that were working at Channel 10 didn't even know who the, he was. He was the icon newsman of Philadelphia, known from coast to coast. They didn't know who he was, but I got the sign put up on Monument and City Line Avenue. Then I said they should really certify that building as a historical site. And that's how they could make it a worthwhile museum. Not make a lot of money at the beginning, but a lot of donations could come in. Because that building could have the, the archives of some of the big stars that came out of there and went across the country. I'm not talking only about John Facenda. There are so many other people. When you were young, you remember the Gene London show. You remember so many other great shows coming out of there. Cartoon Hunt. I did a show 